Hello there. It's been only a month since the initial release of the Doja mode for Street Fighter V, and since then people already have found a few ways to exploit it. This is why at the end of October Capcom released an update for the Doja mode, tweaking a little how the Dojo point system works. But let's be honest, the information we get about that is a little cryptic. There's no dojo point indicator in the game, not to mention anything to tell us how many points will be awarded per each game. From the trailer, the only things we can get is like Creator apply to a dojo! Increase dojo rank through gameplay! Become top dojo and win rewards! And well, this is not much. No wonder many people are asking questions like how to get dojo points, or how many dojo points do you get per each mode? So, let's check it out. First, let's see what the official update info has to say. Dojo points can be obtained through playing the arcade, survival, extra battle, ranked match, casual match and battle lounge game modes. However, point acquisition will be limited to 10 times per one day for losses in ranked and casual match, including draws. Dojo points can only be obtained a maximum of 10 times per one day for matches within Battle Lounge and per each difficulty in Arcade and Survival modes. Please note that there may be further changes to Dojo point acquisition depending on the circumstances. Well, it is something, but it doesn't give us any specific details or values. But I've conducted some research with a little help from my friends and I've got some pretty decent results that I'd like to share. So without further ado, let's go straight to some numbers. Let's start with the online modes. Currently ranked, casual and battle lounge, all three of them give you the exact same amount of points for each fight. 50 for win and 25 for lose. Keep in mind that by losing in each of these modes you can only earn points 10 times per day. However, in Battle Lounge, the rewards for winning are also limited to only 10 times per each day. So, if you want to farm some more points online, you need to go to Ranked or Casual. Now for the single player modes. Let's start with the Arcade. This mode will give you 10 dojo points per each battle and will reward you after you finish the whole run. The more battles there is in a specific Street Fighter game, the more points you will be rewarded in the end. For example, if there's only 4 battles in Street Fighter 1, you will be only rewarded with 40 dojo points. Street Fighter Alpha and Street Fighter 5, on the other hand, both have 10 fights, so they will both reward you with 100 dojo points in the end. The difficulty or the number of rounds doesn't change anything. You will always be rewarded with the same amount of points. Each of the different arcade can be completed 10 times per day on each difficulty. Next, let's head on to the extra battle. And I must admit, this one is pretty straightforward. Yep, now we only get 20 dojo points for each extra battle. And I mean each, because every single battle we've tested so far, no matter the difficulty, always gave the same results. Only 20 dojo points. Such small value is probably set to discourage people from further exploiting the dojo system. Now there's simply no payoff in spending your fight money for such small reward. But keep in mind that extra battle roster is constantly being changed, especially that some of the enemies appear only once in few months. It is impossible to tell for now if every single one of them will give us the same reward in the future. And now for everyone's favorite, the survival mode. And it goes as follows. Easy will give you 50 points, Normal will give you 100 points, Hard will give you trauma and nightmares, and Extreme will give you permanent mental damage! Hard will give you 250 points, and Extreme will give you 500 points. Just like the arcade mode, survival can be completed 10 times per day for each difficulty and the points will be rewarded after each run. Saving and quitting in the middle of any run will not grant you any points. Judging by the number of stages for each difficulty, it looks like it rewards us with 5 points for each stage, but then there's normal, and there's 100 points, and there's 30 battles, it should be 150. God damn it, survival. Well, I guess the logic will never apply to this mode. To sum it up, if you want to make your sensei proud and bring home some points, just stick to the online modes. There's really no need to torture yourself and grind points through single player modes like arcade or survival. Especially that finishing the extreme will take you about uh, 2 hours and some hair out of your head. 
and it rewards you with only 500 points. It's the equivalent of winning 10 matches in ranked casual battle lounge. So do yourself a favor and stick to the online. Lastly, let's talk about the reward system. In order to find out where all your precious dojo points are going, you will need to go to Capcom Shadow website. Right up on the dojo page you should be able to see your own points. To check on the rewards go to old dojo ranking. There you can see the objects and the emblems for gold, silver and bronze. They will be rewarded automatically at the end of each month depending on the rank of your dojo. The rewards will be added to your inventory straight away. You should be then already able to see them in dojo customize or dojo objects. And now you will be able to put your trophy in your dojo for everyone to see it in its full glory. And I guess that's all. I hope I shed some light on all those dojo shenanigans and I really hope that at least some of you will find this video useful. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the future. Bye bye!